Hey everyone, how you guys doing? So, um, today I want to do a quick video before I head into work. I'm sitting here drinking my coffee this morning and I'm looking at my cup. It says be still and on the other side it says be still and know that I'm God, that Bible verse. And um, I'm just loving mornings like today. Today it's in Kansas City like going to be the high of 76. It kind of feels like it's going to rain a little bit outside but it is perfect outside. Um, there is leaves all over the ground, acorns all over the ground, and I am um, hearing that it's going to be very short-lived. <laughs> I am hearing that uh, by Friday, it's going to be like 40-something, like 2 or something like that, as the high. Yikes. So, um, I wanted to do this video, and... Um, just talk for a second about, um, you know, that, that verse, be still and know that I'm God. As a single mother now, this has kind of been my favorite, favorite verse um, in the Bible. Because just listening to the be still, be still, that means be silent, be one with God, be alone, be um with him in your thoughts every, every second of every day and um, know that he's God. So if you know that he's God, then you're knowing that God has got all your problems already handled. He's already got your future all planned out for you. He's got um, everything, you know. Um, he's got your finances covered. He's got your relationships with... Um, your ex covered. He's got your relationships that are in your future covered. And um, he's got your children covered. And whew, what a relief, um, you know. And I sit here and I'm, I'm drinking my coffee. It tastes so good. Um, it's so warming to the soul. And I'm thinking, this is how God's love is. Um, his love never fails us. His love is um, always there. So uh, I'm going to say when I was going through my divorce, when it was um, something that was unexpected and unwanted, um, it was something where I struggled with the inner peace that I had with God because at first, I got very angry with God because um, I was so confused. I had no idea why my husband had filed for divorce at first. Um, it didn't make any sense. Um, we had taken in his sister, and his whole personality and life changed as soon as we did that. And um, him and his sister uh, were very active in their AA group. And me and the kids were kind of to the side doing our own thing. And um, because of that, you know, that was only short-lived for like two months. And my whole life came crashing down. My whole marriage came crashing down. Um, and my husband no longer was a husband or a father to my children. He um, pretty much just kicked us all out of the house, took his sister in, and he was going to live there with her and live happily ever after. And at some point, he made that decision. And I cannot, for the life of me, understand why he made that decision and why all of a sudden and what happened to my husband. And the only thing that got me through a time where I lived in my basement for nine months separated from my husband and his sister upstairs was this Bible verse. Be still and know that I'm God. It was a time where I was just so confused and I was just 
what are you doing, God? Why is this happening? And why is it being allowed? And it wasn't until I actually got kicked out of the house with the kids and we moved into our own place um, where I really realized that God had a big, big plan for us. Um, the things that have happened since my separation and since my divorce has just been amazing uh, to think that God had this all planned out in advance. He has blessed us so much. Uh, I cannot complain about my life now. It is 100% better than it was when I was married. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm lonely. And yeah, I miss my husband. And yes, I, I miss the family bond and the unit. And I miss that connection with a spouse. But with that said, um, I look back now and I see that destruction was coming. I see all the things that I had felt for nine years of not being loved, not being wanted. Um, it all came to a, 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 a decision, a, a point where a decision was made and it was made um, for selfishness. And um, that be still part of that Bible verse is just something that it was just like, I surrender all to you, God, my marriage, my children, my home, and my finances. And I just surrender it all. It's just like you just throw up your hands and you're like, okay. And um, it all turned out great. It all turned out great because I did. I gave it all to God and um, I just knew that he was God and he's got it all um, under control. And so I want to encourage you, if you are struggling as a single mom, even um, post-divorce, you know, I don't really have any idea what my future is. Um, I'm still kind of questioning what's God doing. I can look back now with my marriage and say, I know exactly what God was doing, why I end up marrying my husband in the first place, and um, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. I am very happy with what I got out of the marriage um, with my child, and I'm very happy with what I got out of my divorce. Um, I have to share, and that's okay because I want to share my son, but I'm happy with the settlement agreement that we had together. I uh, would like to be able to communicate better with my ex-spouse, but if he refuses to do that, then that's okay, too. I um, am moving on, and God has just continued to bless us um, as a family now, me and my boys as a single mom, and I'm starting to plan for 2023. I'm starting to think of the holidays this year and what we're going to do and my boys and I have had a discussion and we are going to be helping others this holiday season. We are not doing a whole lot of gifts with each other. I probably will do stockings and that's about it. We are um, going to do something together as a family and uh, that is what they want to do. Um, they said, we are blessed, Mom, and we have everything we need. So they're not really wanting a whole lot. And I'm so thankful that in the midst of everything that we've gone through the last couple of years um, and the kids' lives just being ripped apart and torn upside down by decisions of others, it's, um, you know, it's just so calming and warm and fuzzy inside to know that I have taught my kids about God and how God has a plan for each one of us and we need to use the gifts that he gives us uh, spiritually and that uh, you know helping others is what's important and loving on each other is what's important and being a family and and following God's word is what's the most important and so, as a single mom, I just want to encourage you guys right now, 
to be still in the moment. Just breathe in, breathe out. Pray to God. Dear God, I just thank you so much for the many blessings you've given me and my boys, and my family. Say just thank you, dear God. Oh my goodness, there's been so much that you have done to provide for us. So much that you are continuing to do. And you have a big, big plan for us. Thank you, dear God, for our home, the warmth that we have, the food that we have to eat. Thank you for the clothes that have been given to us. And thank you that we don't have to go shopping because we've gotten so blessed by others, dear God. Thank you for our friends, our church. Thank you for so many blessings that you've given to us. You know, it's not about having millions of dollars. It's not about uh, having a home. And it's not about anything but taking one day at a time, dear God. And taking that one day at a time with you as the head of the household, as a spiritual leader for our family. And I just thank you, dear God, for always being there and your love never failing us. I can always, always count on your promises to continue to... Um, provide everything we need just as you promised and I thank you dear God for this month of Thanksgiving and being joyful in our hearts in Jesus name I pray amen see you guys that is just the way to start off a morning a cup of coffee time with Jesus be still and know that he's God bye